everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is the end of April. This month has gone so quickly and has been so busy for me, I can't even. But it does mean that I now have to set up my bullet journal for May. So if you would like to watch that, then take a seat, grab a cup of tea or your beverage of choice and let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started with this bullet journal setup for May. And the theme that I've chosen for this month is kind of a last minute change of plans. Originally, I was going to do a geometric primary colors, really colorful theme. But when I woke up this morning and was thinking about needing to film this video today, I, it just filled me with 101 Dalmatians of no, it was just not something that I wanted to do it was just too complicated for the time and energy that I had to film this and set this up today. So instead I decided to go with a really simple plant theme, not any particular plants, just kind of simple kind of frond line drawings with brush pens, very monochromatic colors. I just used green and black and just kept it very, very simple. And I'm really glad that I did that because it meant that actually filming and drawing these spreads was quite a calming exercise for me and quite relaxing, which I think I actually needed. So yeah, that's the theme for this month. Before we go any further, show of the week is London Road, which is a verbatim musical that was produced by the National Theatre. So I will link to the cast recording of that below for you guys to check out if you're interested. So starting off with my monthly calendar layout and my monthly task list and thoughts of the month. These are all the same as they've been for this whole year at this point, I'm pretty sure. So yeah not much changing there next we're moving on to my ideas page still one of my favorite pages to set up because it is so simple and then also my habit and mood trackers which weren't as simple and I messed them up a little bit so May if you have looked at your calendar for May is one of those annoying months where there are six rows why there are six rows, I don't know. I guess May is just wanting to be awkward in 2021. But because of that, one of my mini calendars on my habit trackers is slightly misplaced. The writing and reading tracker is one row lower than it needs to be. So there isn't a row gap between the bottom of the calendar and the top of the water tracker. If I was a professional bullet journal YouTuber who was amazing at art and fixing things, I probably would have come up with an elaborate fix for this of like cutting out some spare paper and sticking it over or doing something even more creative to fix it. I'm not that person. And even if I was that person, I doubt I would have had the energy to do that in all honesty. So I'm just gonna live with the mistake. It's fine, it's cool. So, um yeah which i think is quite a tangential but important point to touch on is that it is okay for your bullet journal not to be perfect as someone who consumes a lot of bullet journal content on youtube there are plenty of people who make really beautiful really intricate hashtag aesthetic spreads and more power to those people i think that's great but if that's not you and you don't have the energy to spend three hours setting up your pages, that's okay. You can live with your mistakes. You can pick simpler themes. It's fine. It's a tool for you to use. Onto my next couple of pages. And as you've probably noticed, the left hand page is blank. That's because I haven't decided what I want to put on that page yet. The last two months, I haven't been using the video planning spreads that I've been trying. To be fair, during April, that might have just been because I had no time. So it might be that I want to try again with that spread this month when I'll have more time in May. 
or I might want to replace it with something else, something different, but I want to think about what I'm actually going to need this month before committing something to paper. And I didn't really have time to think about what I needed before needing to set up these pages. So yeah, that's why that page is blank. And then on the next page, as you can see, it's my blog drafting page, which I've just found so useful. So glad I've added that into my monthly page routine. <laughs> and then finally, I've got my weekly log and my positives logs, which again, they're exactly the same layout that I've been using for a long time now because they're still working for me. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This last month gone by has been really, really intense. I feel like the rehearsal process that I've been in at the moment has been very intense. If you haven't seen my packing my rehearsal bag video, then you might not know that I've actually been rehearsing for a show this past month. Tomorrow I'm actually travelling to Bath to do the tech rehearsal and the filming for that show the kind of first part of that show's life so yeah it's been very very busy and I haven't had a lot of time for other things really which is why I wasn't able to get a video up last week Friday so if you're a regular watcher of this channel and you were expecting a video apologies for that there was just no way I was going to get a video up in time and I didn't want to put up something that was rushed and not to the standard that I would want it or contrive a video idea that would be simple enough to film and edit to put up in time but that wasn't something that I was necessarily interested in with my channel, I really want to make videos that I'm proud of, whether that's entertaining or topics that I really want to talk about. I didn't want to just rush something out. So thank you for understanding. And yeah, there are more videos coming soon. Don't you worry about it. So here is my final flip through of my bullet journal setup for May. I really like how this turned out. It was very calming to do, which is exactly what I needed. And I'm looking forward to using it throughout the month. So that is my bullet journal setup for May. Not my most perfect bullet journal setup. I did make a couple of mistakes, but I'm really glad that I went with the theme that I chose. And overall, setting up my bullet journal this month was a very chill and relaxing experience, which is absolutely what I needed today. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Would love to have you on the channel. Come on down. Stay tuned for more theatre content from a UK perspective and I will see you all in my next video. Bye friends!